Okay, I was asked a, a great question. I actually don't have a sister, but if I had a sister who was, <clears throat> who was given a diagnosis there, but, you know, of cancer, what would I say to her? I'm going to, I'm going to pretend that I know my sister quite well, so I can speak to her as opposed to have a bad relationship with her. <coughs> and, um, okay. So this is, so I'd say to, to my sister, this is what I'd probably say to my sister, and I would say to lots of people. Um, my, my own story was that I had kidney failure, I was, in, I was in addiction, and I had kidney failure, and I was having, doctors were saying, I don't know what to do to keep me alive, and, uh, and then I surrendered, and I had a spiritual experience, a heavenly spiritual spirits came upon me, and I heard a voice um, in the hospital bed, and it said, find a spiritual solution. Then some years later, someone gave me a DVD of a man named Dr. David R. Hawkins. And when I put the DVD on the player, I had another spiritual experience, another, what I call a Kundalini rising experience, tingling up my spine in bliss as I watched this DVD. And I knew that, that was the second important spiritual experience. Dr. Hawkins would be the man I would follow in his teachings. And um, I had addictions, he recommended 12-step groups for addictions, and he recommended um, the Course in Miracles if you had any kind of physical illnesses. And he also said that he'd let go of about 23 illnesses using spiritual work himself and had run groups where other people had released their illnesses. So I was because I had these spiritual experiences, I had no doubt, I had absolute absolute, beyond thinking, I knew he was saying the truth. So I did the Course in Miracles, I still did the Course in Miracles, I followed his teachings of surrender, releasing my thoughts, and also following non-dual te teachers of enlightenment as well. And I'd say to my sister, and I had kidney failure, I had gout, I had asthma, all of them left. I, I don't have any symptoms from those through following those teachings. Um, and Another, another really interesting, I, I, I find this kind of a fun thing that I would say to her as well. Like after, and I thought it was, like my, when my ego witnessed this, I thought it was like a fun one. Like uh, and after a trans, I had my transplant operation, I was given 13 medications. And I did one of the lessons from A Course in Miracles. Like I cancelled my belief in adverse side effects from medications and an infinite being. And within, within, the, within three years, I was down to one medication uh, you know, from 13. And the doctor said to me, the consultant said it, he knows of no one else in the hospital, I, can, I think transplant patient, who takes less medication than me. So just by doing that, I'd, I'd done the impossible in reducing the for a transplant patient. So these you know, illnesses leaving me, medications leaving me, my health being restored. So if my sister's got cancer, I'd say, I did this stuff. And it worked for me. It worked for him. It worked for me. I'm your brother. You know, trust me. You know, I'd say to her, like, do everything the doctors say, but follow these suggestions on top of it. And I'd tell her to, which is my sister, I'd say, um, that there's, uh, well, in the UK and America, you've got it. You've got this thing called Audible, where you can download... Um, download lectures from Hawkins. Uh, like in the UK, they're just eight pounds per lecture. So I'd go, go, get on Audible, get the, the, the lecture on health. And while you're at it, you might as well get his other stuff if you can afford it. But the health one primarily, listen to it over and over again. Get the Course in Miracles, start on lesson one and do the lessons, do a lesson every day. Listen to Hawkins, especially the health one every day while you're doing stuff. Lesson, f you know, uh, you know, like cancer, I cancel my belief. Like, let's say if the, if the doctors have told you've got, um, I don't know, breast cancer, just say, I cancel my belief in breast cancer. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. So that every day, whatever the, you know, if the doctors say you've got, a, you know, uh, whatever that you believe is, is you're fearful of cancer, your belief in it every day, do the Course in Miracles, listen to Hawkins, He'll also explain how to sit with your feelings and let your thoughts go. Do that and um, do all of that. Also, what's very helpful 
is if you know of any high vibration spiritual groups where you feel a lot of peace and serenity, go to them every day. They could be like Course in Miracles groups, these type of groups, 12-step um, groups which give you serenity and peace. Go to those and uh, immerse yourself in Haw Just listen to the sound of Hawkins' voice non-stop throughout the day. Sit with your feelings, do the Course in Miracles, cancel your beliefs. And uh, just do that like your life depends upon it, constantly, without fail. Uh, and that's what I'd say. And, uh, and I would encourage her to do that. Um, that's part of, part of the reason why I have this group, just to share. It worked so miraculously for me. I know it could uh, potentially save her life. Mm. If she doesn't, if she believes she can't save it, you know, like she says to me, I listen to her, she says, I believe it won't work for me. I'd say, I can't say I cancel my belief, it won't work for me. I'm an infinite being. Mm -hmm. Or she says, it's too late for me. I say, tell her, say, I cancel my belief, it's too late for me. You know, you know, say, I don't want to take the chemotherapy. I'd say, like, take the chemotherapy and say, I cancel my belief in the side effects of chemotherapy. I'm an infinite being, you see. So you're taking the best... You're getting the medicine, but you're cancelling your belief in the adverse effects. Um, and, uh, and then you're doing the spiritual work with intensity. And, and that's what I'd say to my sister.